Floyd's algorithm to find all pairs shortest paths. We need to know some of these definitions. What is a weighted graph? In this graph, each edge has a weight or an associated numerical value. Edge weight may represent costs, distance or lengths, capacities and so on depending on the problem. Weight matrix W of ij is 0 if i is equal to j, infinity if no edge between i and j and then weight of the edge if there is an edge between i and j. Floyd's algorithm is one of the algorithms for solving all pair shortest path problem. On the kth iteration, the algorithm determines the shortest path between every pair of vertices. There are two cases, a shortest path from Vi to Vj restricted to using only vertices from V1 to Vk as intermediate vertices does not use Vk. Then dk of i comma j is equal to dk minus 1 of i comma j. This one is when there is a path between i to j. The other case is a shortest path from vi to vj restricted to using only vertices from v1 to vk as intermediate vertices do use vk. Then dk of i comma j is equal to dk minus 1 of i comma j plus dk minus 1 of k comma j that is using k as intermediate to find out the path between i and j. Finally we combine case 1 and case 2 as dk of i comma j is equal to minimum of dk minus 1 of i comma j comma dk minus 1 of i comma k plus dk minus 1 of k comma j. This is the formula that we need to remember for solving the problems. Let's consider this example. This is the graph having all these edge weights. Find all pairs shortest paths for the given weighted connected graph using Floyd's algorithm. First, we need to write down the weight matrix. So, D of 0 will be like this. From A to A, it is 0. From A to B, there is a weighted edge that is 2. From A to C, there is a weighted edge that is 5. B to A, there is 4. B to B, 0. B to C, there is no edge. So, it is infinity. C to A, there is no edge. So, infinity. C to B, there is 3, to C, there is 0. In the first round, k is equal to 1. Vertex 1 can be intermediate node. You can find out d1 of 2, comma 3 as minimum of d0 of 2, comma 3, comma d0 of 2, comma 1 plus d0 of 1, comma 3 minimum of d0 of 2 comma 3 is infinity d0 of 2 comma 1 2 comma 1 is 4 plus d0 of 1 comma 3 is 5 minimum of infinity and 9 is 9 so we just found out d1 of 2 comma 3 to be 9. 9 goes here. d1 looks like this. Now we pass k is equal to 2. Vertex 1 comma 2 can be made as intermediate nodes. We can find out d2 of 3 comma 1 as minimum of d1 of 3 comma 1 d1 of 3 comma 2 plus d1 of 2 comma 1 minimum of d1 of 3 comma 1 is infinity d1 of 3 comma 2 is 3 plus d1 of 2 comma 1 is 4 minimum of infinity and 7 is 7 so in D2, 3, 1 will be 7. Now 
round D2 looks like this. In the next round, K is equal to 3. Vortex 1 comma 2 comma 3 can be intermediate nodes. In this, we can't find any more shortest path. So, no change. Finally, D3 looks like this. This matrix represents the all pairs shortest path for given graph. To summarize, when we took k is equal to 1, we found this minimum path. Then when we took k is equal to 2, we found this minimum path. k is equal to 3, there was no change. And finally, d3 looks like this. You can write down the matrices d1, d2, d3 separately for better understanding.